It's the same thing every year. Spring comes and we look outside at our brown, dormant, ugly lawn. And all we can do is wait for Mother Nature to raise the temperatures so it gets green again. Or is it? Let me show you some things you can do to help that along. But first, I've noticed that a lot of you are coming back to watch these videos, but you're not subscribing. What's up with that? Is it my face? It's all right if it's my face. So the first thing I want you to do every spring, and you'll hear Alan Hain preach this all the time and for really good reason, is just get out and walk your lawn. And I don't mean just walk around aimlessly doing nothing. I mean really get in there. Really look at what you have. Really assess what you have. Because once you assess everything that you have, you can make better decisions on how to treat that area versus the different area. Look for your dead spots. Look for any matted spots, any damage from voles or dogs, anything that you have. You're not gonna treat that the same way as you would something that looks great, right? So if you don't learn it, you don't know what to treat differently. I never did this in the past. And I would just treat everything like it was exactly the same. And I still have damage. So I started to walk the yard, learn it, figure out the bare spots, figure out what holds water, what gets dry, and now I can treat everything the way it should be treated, and it's gonna help you do exactly the same thing. So now that you've went out and walked your entire lawn and you know where all your issues are, you can attack those properly. For me, I have a lot of vole damage and I have a lot of damage from this guy. This guy likes to dig but what you don't see are dog pee spots in my yard, but that's a whole nother video. So now that we can just start attacking those things, we can start to rake up any of the dead blades that we have left over from winter, or we can spot seed spots that might be a little thin or bare, and we can address those properly. But the next one is the biggest one. Let's talk about the biggest thing that you can do to help your lawn. So there's no arguing the fact that mowing your lawn is the best thing that you can possibly do for it. And it works the same way in the spring. It's gonna help your lawn wake up. So I suggest you start doing that earlier than later. You might not be getting the best cut in the world and you might only be cutting off the tip, but that tip is where the yellow and brown is from coming out of winter. So when we cut it, we're cutting that off and that's gonna make your lawn look even that much better. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna tell the lawn that it's time to wake up. It is time for all of this to start growing again. We're ready for you to get moving. So the more you can get yourself back into the habit of it, the more you're gonna get your lawn back into the habit of getting mowed too. So make sure that you have some nice sharp blades on your mower. Go ahead and give it an oil change, throw a new plug and a filter in there and get to mowing. So everything we've talked about in this video is really gonna give your lawn a step up on everybody else that's not doing these things. And don't be surprised when people start asking you, what are you doing to your lawn to make it look so good? Why does your lawn look so much better than everybody else? But let's take a second and let's talk about fertilizing and not being afraid to fertilize early. Like now, like right now. Like why are you still watching this? Get out in your lawn, throw some fertilizer down. But seriously, we don't have to wait until spring is almost over to fertilize our lawn. So get out there, get your favorite bag of fertilizer and put it down and feed that lawn. You'll thank me later. And if you're not sure what fertilizer you should be using, let me know in the comments below or shoot me a message over on Instagram. We'll figure it out. We'll get the best thing for you and your lawn. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Until the next one, keep that lawn green. I'm out.